Hello and welcome to the analysis of the Hindu newspaper dated April 8th, 2023. In this video, we are going to talk about two important newspaper articles which are going to be very important, very significant for the civil services examination. And that is why we are going to discuss them in very detail. So stay connected till the end and let's now start without any further delay with the first important newspaper article. Now the first newspaper article deals with the common medical devices and how they are facing the risk of the malware attacks. And this comes in light of the fact that the AIMS and all of the major hospitals data was targeted in the recent past, right? Now this particular newspaper article becomes very important for the GS paper 3 that is science and technology and specifically it mentions the cyber securities right and that is why we are going to discuss this particular newspaper article in detail. Now this newspaper article says that common medical devices such as oximeters, hearing aids, glucometers as well as the pacemakers which are used in the heart can be turned into spyware and malware says the experts warning that such devices can even leak your medical data if not layered with adequate cyber protection and how does this happen because these personal devices common medical devices like oximeter hearing aids glucometers all have all of them have the medical records now the medical records are saved in the cloud or in their software now these softwares are basically very prone to spyware and the malware says the experts right now their warning comes close on the heels of the ransomware attacks suffered by the india's top tertiary care hospitals leading to a seize of millions of medical records and vast amounts of health data at the delhi's aims Safdarganj hospital and lady hardinge medical college and hospital now these hospitals could not get access to their medical records because it came under the ransomware attack when now what exactly is this ransomware now ransomware attack is a computer virus that encrypts once essential files that is you do not have any kind of access to these files and renders them inaccessible unless the hacker is paid for the key to open them now when you pay for the key only then the you will be able to attain the access to these particular records right and this becomes a major problem because every time you have to get the medical records now if you cannot get the medical records then that's of no use to you right now many personal use medical technology devices contain software as medical device and software in medical devices and are usually connected to the internet mobile phones servers and the clouds your data is stored in the clouds you basically function through the servers and you connect these medical technologies to your mobile phones and to the internet right if you can't access them then that becomes a major problem and currently we do not even have any kind of guidelines on the regulation of the SA AMD and SIMD. Now India currently lacks any centralized data collection mechanism as well which gives an exact cost of uh, data corruption for the healthcare industry. However, it is clear that data is seeing a threat that has become rampant, sophisticated and severe and pharma companies face their IT environments being landed with legacy hardware and software. Now these all of the medical devices were created in the past and now they are now have been like two or five years down the line and these particular devices do not have then that kind of cyber security in them and in particular operational technology devices networks and systems that support business did not have it security in mind when built so they do not even have the it security these networks and systems need to be connected with the IT networks which exposes them to an organization's entire threat landscape and creates new opportunities for the cyber criminals. And now if we see the World Health Organization then data protection is not rocket science, right? World Health Organization says that the data protection is not a rocket science but requires legal and technical artisanship allocation of adequate resources and training of all the personals involved in the processing of the personal data they need to be trained that you are prone to any kind of cyber uh, cyber threat and that is why you need to make your devices compatible with the cyber security 
and now world health organization also advocates for continuous efforts that is based on institutional vision a governance concept and a willingness to be accountable if you uh, if you don't find yourself accountable if you're not accountable for this particular records for saving this particular records if your data is being uh, leaked here and there this means that you are less accountable so you need to become more accountable says the world health organization so this is it regarding this particular newspaper article which dealt with the medical devices and all of the data regarding the medical care now medical care is very critical for us very important for us very crucial for us and that is why we need to save the medical records or medical data at the earliest we need to find a mechanism regarding it so now let's head to the next important newspaper article now this particular newspaper article deals with the solar power and how it has become sorry uh, it deals with the cultural assets it deals with the cultural mapping it deals with all of the things regarding it it also deals with mera gaon meri darohar or my village my heritage now this particular newspaper article becomes very very important for the gs paper 2 that is government policies and interventions in various areas we are going to follow the same procedure that is we are going to first understand the context of it and then we will discuss what exactly is this mera gaon meri darohar or my village my heritage now this article says that in a bid to harness the unique cultural heritage of rural india the government has identified and documented distinctive features of more than 1 lakh villages across the country now these distinctive features of these villages are done on the basis of cultural mapping so in cultural mapping what happens is that seven eight categories are formed and based on them uh, uh, they are classified into whether they are important ecologically developmentally or scholastically right and if they produce a famous textile or product and if they are connected to some historical or mythological events such as independence struggle or epics like the mahabharata then they are going to be culturally mapped for example if you consider the ecological category then we have the bishnoi village near jodhpur in rajasthan which is a case study for living in harmony with nature and uttarakhand's raini village which is famous for the chipko movement which became the uh, which became very important movement at its time in order to save the trees from felling by the government now these are also villages that have development importance like modera in gujarat which is the first solar powered village in india we have suketi village in Uh, Himachal Pradesh which is Asia's oldest fossil park we also have the Pandrethan in Kashmir which is the village of Shaivite mystic Lal Ded and are also classified and these are classified for their historical importance so on the basis of various categories these particular villages are culturally mapped and they come under now the Mera Gaon Meri Darohar program now the entire village entire exercise has been carried out under the mera gaon meri darohar that is my village my heritage program of the national mission for cultural mapping now nmcm that is national mission for cultural mapping aims to develop a comprehensive database of art forms artist and other resources across the country and the indira gandhi national center for arts which is Ig uh, ignasa said it has undertaken the cultural asset mapping of these villages through the field surveys right through the field surveys they have culturally mapped these villages and these villages come under the mera gaon meri darohar program right now the survey documents don't these field surveys which are being conducted by the uh, by the IGNCA that is the Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts are documents the survey documents the cultural identity of the villages by involving citizens to share what makes their village block or district unique and if you uh, if the government finds that there is any kind of village block or district unique which is very unique then it will uh, come under the uh, mere gaon meri darohar program right now the survey process involves a csc that is the common and service center village level entrepreneur conducting meetings with the locals and then uploading interesting facts about their village its place of interest 
customs and traditions famous personalities festivals and beliefs arts art and culture etc onto a special application and this particular application is then analyzed by the IGNCA that is Indira Gandhi National uh, National Center for Arts now the IGNCA plans to cover all the 6.5 lakh villages in the country and put some of these villages into the Mera Gaon Meri Dharohar program right so this is it regarding this particular newspaper article which basically talks about the cultural mapping of the villages and it also talks about the Mera Gaon Meri Dharohar program right which comes under the national mission for cultural mapping nc uh, nmcm right so this is it regarding this particular newspaper article and this is it for the day thank you from my side do like and share the video and subscribe to this channel have a good day bye